Time for the November update video. Hey YouTube, Brian here again. Uh, just coming to you with a update, uh, fish room tour uh, for November of 2015. Um, made a few changes lost a few fish we'll go into all that here but uh, I wanted to start by showing you um, the 150 gallon discus tank and how it looks now it's actually been moved out into the living room um, same tank that these fish were in different substrate different decor and it's been moved out into the living room like I said I just went with uh, <clears throat> just pool filter sand for the substrate Put in some of that funky driftwood that I had down in uh, one of the 75s in the basement. A few Amazon swords. With the light colored substrate, these discus just look way better. They're showing their true colors now. They were darkened up a lot before. Now you can see kind of the nice gold that's supposed to stand out in a wild discus in addition to their normal coloring. They're still getting settled in a little bit, but they're doing well. They're eating. They're accustomed to the tank. Everything's doing doing real great. So, um, so yeah, that's what's going on there. Try to get a couple close-ups of a few of these guys. So yeah, the discus tank, um, and then I'll just really quick show you. The reef. Um, typically I keep separate updates on the reef tank. Uh, lights have just been ramping up here in the last hour so they're not to full spectrum yet but things are doing good. This Ricardi up front's doing great. <clears throat> um, green star polyps are moving and growing. For whatever reason my torch coral still um, it's been shut now for like a month but um, yeah so overall I won't go through each coral but everything is uh, really um, starting to look nice. Having a little problem with the green bubble algae, but uh, we're, we're trying to work on that. Um, no losses as far as corals or fish go now for quite some time, so that's good. I'm hoping here in the next uh, upcoming weeks to add a couple more fish and maybe some more corals. So uh, we'll keep you updated on that. We'll do a full update on the reef tank here uh, in a separate video um, coming up soon. Um, we'll take you into the office and I'll show you now the 125 that was out here is now in the office <clears throat> right here and at this point I've just got the, my male Midas in there um, he killed his female you remember them they were down in a 75 they had been getting along great for ever you know, they, they were sitting on uh, free swimmers, uh, successful spawn, they weren't dying off, they were being really good parents. Three to four weeks of free swimmers and weren't showing any signs of aggression towards one another. Nothing bad at all and um, last week on water change day, I did the water change, they were doing fine. Came back down like four or five hours later. <clears throat> And she was dead. He had beaten the crap out of her um, in just that short a time. So that, that sucked, but, uh, you know, I guess we'll move on. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep this guy as a wet pet or what I'm going to do. Um, but for now, he's in here, along with uh, six clown loaches that were out in, uh, well, they were in this tank out in the living room. Um, and then I moved up um, my polypterus, too. You can see... One of the regular Senegals back by the filter, by the heater, and then the Andalachiri, I believe it's pronounced right here. There's another Senegal in here somewhere too, and then I just have a, a common pleco in here as well. Nothing major going on as far as uh, decorations or anything like that, just some rocks and a few easy to grow plants. Uh, moving over here to the 90 gallon, this thing looks like garbage. I'm getting ready, hopefully in the upcoming weeks, to completely redo this tank and start from scratch. I'm pretty much set on doing a real simple Iwagumi style scape with basically just a carpeting plant and a handful of uh, Oiko stones, dragon stones, and kind of go from there. I love the Blix of Japonica. It's, it's still my all-time favorite plant, but 
Um, I'm just thinking of doing something different, something simpler, a lot more low maintenance, and see where we go. Um, this tank just seems to be one of those tanks that's beyond repair. I can't control the algae in it. Um, you know, the substrate has been there for two to three years, so it's probably ran its course. So I should probably get some new substrate. Um, there's just so much detritus and stuff probably mixed in with the substrate, and it's it's one of those deals where it's probably best to wipe it out and do a clean slate. All right, sorry about that. The battery died here, so I'm back. It's hard to say when I'll do it. Hopefully within the upcoming weeks, but you never know. Got a lot going on with the holidays, a lot going on with my other tanks, so we'll just have to wait and see. But the update on here is basically what I just told you, so um, we'll move on. Not going to do a lot of time on shrimp tanks, but the yellow needles below are doing great. Um, the uh, pure red lines that are in here are doing great. And my cherries are doing great. A little bit of algae on the glass right now, but there's tons of babies in here. Some of them, are, they're all over the glass grazing on the algae. Um, but if you if you want to know more about the shrimp tanks, I just recently did an update on those, so you can uh, check out my videos for that. So we'll head downstairs now, and I'll show you what we've got going on there. We'll just start right straight ahead. The two Spectabilis tanks. Uh, male Spectabilis, looking great, as always. Female. You know, she, she takes her lumps from him, definitely. No spawning lately. Her tube was all the way down like she was ready about two weeks ago, and it never happened. Seriously considering moving on with moving, moving these guys on, but I'm still just not sure. He's such a gorgeous fish, it'd be hard to get rid of him. But, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Down below is still the old man, Spectabilis, the wild cut from the pair I got from Raps. Um, male killed the female, if you don't remember, several months ago now, but I'll be moving him on real soon. I know I probably said that in last month's video, but just haven't gotten around to it. Behind us here now are the RTMs that were upstairs last time. They are very skittish and not quite comfortable with their new surroundings, but um, they're in here. Um, there was some aggression when they were upstairs um, that I hadn't ever noticed with them before. Um, he got her. He got some good licks in on her, but um, she's up in the corner here. I don't know if you can see her. So I put them down here and divided them for about a week. Now they're undivided and they've been doing fine, but I think it's mainly because they're just kind of stressed out. So i um, just trying to be patient with them. Trimax are down below. Uh, there's the male. I might move them into a 125. I'm still kind of deciding what I want to do with some of my tanks and some of the fish and whatnot. Female hides out most of the day, but uh, let's see if we can... There she, she likes to hide behind this pot right here. Sorry about that noise. I'm right by the dehumidifier. I should have turned it off. So they're doing good. They haven't spawned in, in a while, but I still have some rollouts from them just a handful like 10 or so um, umby tanks things are going fine with them this pair spawns pretty regularly um, I haven't pulled any of their fry um, they got a few random ones swimming around but for the most part they it's funny, I got the camera on and they start displaying this type of behavior. They usually don't do this, but I think he's about ready, and she maybe too, to spawn again in the next... They're about due. Um, but yeah, this uh, this guy, this is Halen and this is Kama. They're both looking gray. Um, love his coloring. Love her coloring too. She's a wild cat. This guy's an F1 from Magnus and Beast. Down below we've got Thorson and Maggie. Thorson's really growing a lot now that he's in this 180. Maggie's doing well. They got a bunch of fry down here. <clears throat> Their fry usually lasts about a week and then I'm not sure if they get eaten or sucked into a filter or what, but 
She's real protective. You can see on her lips that she's been lip locking with Thorson a little bit. Thorson is a F1 from uh, Thor and uh, Gage's mystery female. And she is a uh, product of Magnus and Beast also. Up here we've got the male Feste. Just this weekend, I came down one morning. They were fine the night before. He had beaten her to a pulp. Pretty disappointed in that. She was one of my favorite fish. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him and try to find another female. Try to find another Feste pair or just uh, wash my hands of Feste for now. There's still one fry from the one spawn they had. He's growing slowly but surely. Um, so yeah, it's kind of the bummer of the week, more so than the Midas, but uh, really in the last couple weeks I've had two losses like that that uh, kind of suck, but it's part of the hobby I guess. So it really sucks though when they're not showing any behavior ahead of time and it just comes out of the blue compared to when they look like they're fighting a lot. It's a different story if you don't take action and, and separate them, then it's kind of your own fault. But anyway, still a beautiful looking fish. I'm just not sure what I want to do. Down below, lion's eye. <clears throat> um, these two have pretty much paired off. They haven't spawned. Um, they were ready at one point. The female's tube was all the way down. And then he kind of wanted to rush things along, and he started nipping at her pretty bad, and it never happened. Um, she ended up hiding out for a while, but now they're swimming around together again and seem to be doing well. There is a third one in here that pretty much spends all of its time behind that pot because they've pretty much uh, sent him into exile. I'll probably be getting rid of it if anyone's looking for a lion's eye. Um, it does have a little bit of a, I don't want to say deformed tail, but a, while, a, a few months ago, one of these two really did a number on its tail and bit almost the whole thing off. It's grown back most of it, but it's not um, it's not fully grown like these, and it is a little oblong, so I'm not sure if it's going to stay like that or um, eventually grow back in its entirety. But anyway, I can try to get you some pictures or something if you're interested. Spectabilis Grawats up here, they're doing good. Um, I've had some people interested in these guys. Uh, if, you, if you want some Spectabilis, let me know. Looking to move these. Um, the one Midas spawn I had, I pulled some fry. I've got those. Um, there's a few uh, Umbi fry in this tank in the back. Sorry, these are kind of dirty. Um, these are the um, Trimac. Um, there's 10 of them grow outs, fry, whatever, and I've got a handful of uh, umby fry here, um, some from Thorson and Maggie and some from uh, this Loki male that I used to have uh, that spawned one time with a wild caught female before I moved them both on. Down below here um, are some sequoias and a couple other mixed in, um, I think there's an RTM in here and maybe a couple of umby. Um, basically looking to move all these along too so if anyone's interested let me know we'll work something out otherwise these are probably going to go to a local fish store here real soon um, the heterospilus are doing well no spawning action yet but uh, they're looking nice they get along great hang out together all the time um, they're eating well pretty happy with these guys I'm thinking about moving those into one of the upper 75s Probably the one that I just showed you with the Spectabilis in it. Um, I think they'll do better than being down on the floor. Um, Holgas are separated. As you can see, she laid eggs. Um, they all fungused over. This was about five days ago now. Uh, probably just too far away to spawn through the divider. Um, I may... I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but these two just clearly have never been able to make it happen. Uh, my buddy James Randall has got one for me. I'm not sure if it's a male or female, so I'm going to see. I'm going to get that fish probably, and, and uh, I'm going to get the fish, but I'm going to probably um, 
just uh, test the waters mixing them with each of these see if I can't sex it see if I can't get a pair and then do away you know uh, get rid of whatever I end up needing to get rid of because I don't need another one for long term um, these are some pure red lines in this tank shrimp tank uh, these are some SSS grade um, crystal reds SS to SSS grade crystal blacks and lower grade crystal reds all doing well I got some Taiwan bees recently a few of them there blue bolts pandas BKKs black king kongs wine reds um, down here some more Taiwan bees um, black king kongs and uh, pandas be adding to both of these tanks next week over here a final tanks whoops trying to get these lights on we've got some crystal black lower grade carbon rillies red rillies which I'm selling all of these if anyone wants some red rillies I've already sold about half of them and then um, Royal Blue Tigers, which um, really happy with these. I've already got babies, so that's uh, you can't be happier about that. I've only had these a short period of time. Some more babies, so that's great news. But yeah, um, other than that, that's all I got going on right now. If ever, if anybody uh, has any questions uh, or comments, you know, make sure you comment below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their uh, YouTube channels will be listed below. That's uh, Mike and Conway, uh, Sean Armantrout, John Conley, myself. Um, make sure you go over to uh, Aquatic Support Community on Facebook and get involved there. And uh, if you got any fish to sell or trade or equipment, Fish Keepers Classifieds, so that's the place to do it on Facebook. Go check that out as well. So. And I also want to thank everybody for two things. One, I hit the 1 million views mark. And two, I hit the 6,000 subscriber mark. So I want to thank everybody that subscribes, everybody that watches my videos. And uh, it just really means a lot. Uh, never in my life would have thought that my channel would have gotten that big. And I know that's not very big compared to a lot of people, but to me that is. Um, it's far exceeded any expectations I ever had. So, yeah, just thanks, guys, and um, until next time, talk to you later.